Now, start off by playing all down picks. It's a good practice habit to play these back and forth at least six times. If you can tolerate playing them like a dozen times, that would be great. Then expand them. Again, I'm tapping my foot. Play them at whatever tempo. You can play them without making a mistake. All right. Then move to your next one. Play that back and forth six to 12 times in its basic form. Then expand it and play that back and forth. Once you really get the hang of this, you can start using alternating picking. Up picks are for speed, and you really don't want to try and play fast. You want speed to come naturally. If you try to chase speed, you will slow the learning process down. You'll build bad habits. It will just take an awful lot longer, possibly to just get frustrated and quit. So have good practice habits. If you start using alternating picking, play it slow enough to where you can ensure that you're truly alternating down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up without breaking the chain. Because once you start moving quicker, if you were going down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, you don't want to do that. All right. So you really want your muscle memory to be fine-tuned. You don't want your hands saying like, wow, wonder how she's gonna play it this time. That's not helpful. You wanna be very consistent. If you'll practice these things methodically, learn the basic form, learn to expand them, then you can start playing with the rhythm track. If you're in the key of E, Find rhythm tracks that you like in the key of E and just practice these along with it. Eventually, you'll be so comfortable with them, you can begin to just like play to what you feel. You know, you can just kind of begin to have a little bit of freedom as you're playing back and forth. Then, as you learn some licks, you can begin to incorporate those, but let it organically evolve. It really will happen twice as fast, okay? When people are learning how to play, uh, developing a good practice routine is critical because if you practice and play all at the same time, then you tend to get better at the parts that you know, and the parts that are difficult don't progress, then frustration sets in, then you decide to just go find a different song and repeat the whole process over. And when you're learning, that's when people get discouraged and give up. So if you will practice and then hit pause and then let what you've practiced go with you as you play, then just make a note of the rough spots. Hit pause, come back over, work on those rough spots. Okay, drill deep on those, get those in your muscle memory. Go back and play. Wherever it's still rough, hit pause, come back and practice that. Then move on to the next song. It's really good to start warm up with at least one finger exercise just to really get your left hand and your right hand working independently and together. Use a metronome when you're practicing your finger exercises. 
then move to working on a song. And if you want to play lead, I think it's a really good idea to stay in one key. 